The first one of the best Android apps for April 2024 is My Productivity Launcher that is clean, minimal and productive. The launcher is so productive that it doesn't even have an app drawer to restrict you from launching random distracting apps. Swiping left on the home screen lets you access the launcher settings where you can configure the launcher to your preference. You can choose one of the four color shades for the launcher, hide the clock, hide apps and pin your favorite apps. You can pin up to 8 apps on the home screen and use the search bar to find other apps. The launcher also comes with a focus mode to enter which you need to type in the time you want to focus in the search bar and the app gives you an option tapping on which you will enter the focus mode. The search bar can also be used to perform basic math calculations similar to the Nova launcher and instantly search on Google. It's a neat launcher overall but it still needs some work to be done. If you are a Telegram user and bored with the default appearance of it, you will love this app. Themer is an open source app that lets you create customized themes for Telegram for free. Creating and applying themes to Telegram is pretty easy. Launch the app, pick a color and select the options you want. The preview of the theme can be seen below as you play with these options. Once you are satisfied with the new theme, click create, share it to the Telegram app Click on the three dots of the shared theme file and hit apply. That's it. You can create and apply as many themes as you want this way for free. Liminal is a brand new free icon pack that offers more than 1300 white and green icons. The icons are shapeless, basic in design, yet look unique with the color mix and slight tilt to the left. Use it with appropriate wallpapers to change the appearance of your phone in a snap. This fun app lets you create fake notifications and alerts for whatever app you want. You can create fake notifications for any app and schedule them to the time and date you want to receive. Creating the notifications is pretty simple. Launch the app, allow the required permissions, tap on the plus button and choose the app you want to create the fake notifications for. This shows the app icon when you receive the notification, making it look like a real notification. Then type the title or name type the message and other details, set the time and date with or without repetition and save it. That's it. You will receive the notification around the scheduled time automatically. You can use this to fool your friends or get out of a boring date or meeting. The free version lets you create fake notifications for up to 3 apps. So try it and get the pro version if you like it. Sometimes you just need a simple app to keep track of the time you spend on different activities in a day. Simple Time Tracker does exactly that and it's open source. You launch the app, add an activity such as studying, running, cycling, gaming etc. and give it an icon and color to distinguish it from other activities. If you want, you can also set goals and reminders to get notified after the set duration. Once added, launch the app and tap on the activity before and after you perform it. If you have a goal duration set beforehand, you will be notified when the time is up. If you have no goal set, then you have to tap manually on the task after completing it. It's as simple as that. All the task history and time spent on them can be found in the app. It's easy to use and comes with a lot of additional settings to customize the time tracking the way you want. Easy Slider lets you easily adjust the volume and brightness of your phone without reaching out to the top of your huge home screen. You can also launch your favorite apps and most used apps quickly with it. Configuring the app is pretty easy. After allowing all the required permissions, enable the app, set the primary and secondary gestures and set the position and color of the bar to your preference and you are good to go. You can swipe on the configured bar on the edge of your screen up and down to adjust the brightness and volume easily. If you slide inwards to the center of the screen, you can access the advanced slider. You can pin your favorite apps here to launch them quickly by hovering on them. This favorites list can be configured either in the app settings or by hovering on the pin symbol in the advanced slider. It's easy to use and works well for me. So give it a shot, it's free. Well those are some of the best Android apps to try in April 2024. I hope you found the video informative, like it and comment down appreciating it if you have and subscribe to the channel for more top android apps videos. Thanks for watching.